started the bus early today, Maple. For those that the, for those of you that don't know, Maple took us on the Great American Farm Tour. Richard Prennicky, beyond was all around me. The dream was a dream no longer. I suppose I was here because this was something I had to do. Not just dream about it, but do it. All 50 states, she drove through all 48 in a pattern like this, beat, beat, with that noise too, whoo, whoo, something like that, boom. It was crazy, it was epic. You can see it on Amazon now. <laughs> but anyway, this is not about that, this video. This is about saying goodbye to her. Remember all those talks we'd have at night? Talking about doing something crazy and just traveling all over America. But come morning time, we'd always have some great reason why not to. Hey, what finally took us over the edge? I asked myself, what would I do if I wasn't afraid? The first reason we were doing this was to discover and learn from the greatest farms in America. The other thing was, I felt like we had a tough decision to make because we're on family property and, and we had to decide, is this where we want to settle for the rest of our lives? We could sell our portion of it and maybe move somewhere, which is what we wanted to keep an open eye to, or we could just buy out the rest of the family. Mm -hmm and be happy and content here, but I felt like we needed to travel to figure that out. The third reason was to see the national parks, see the history of America, and show that to our children. So we were gonna need a way to travel this country, and Rebecca looked into all the different possibilities. And then we saw these people on Instagram, the Blue Ridge Mountain Bus, and we saw what was possible with actually a converted school bus into an RV. Then the day finally came for her arrival. Uh oh, Becca, I see something yellow. I see something yellow. Bingo! Yes. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> now that's Richard. Now that's scary. You ready? I can't believe we bought a bus. <laughs> And now it's time getting to work, turning a bus into a home. Can we come in? This is come crazy. On. Like, it's so big. I know it's gonna like get real small real fast. It sure is. <laughs> What's gonna be the easiest, quickest fix? Because... Oh, I'll get it fixed. You think? Yeah. Are you sure? I don't worry about that stuff like that. You don't? I, I worry about stuff like that. Have you gotten it finished? Yeah, I, I think I just finished. I might have a little bit more in the back to do. Yeah. But I think I'm finished out front and I'm ready to primer. Well, I gotta Sweet. wash it down and primer it. Sweet. We still gonna be ready to paint on Saturday? Yes. Okay. Oh no. They're supposed to be shorter. Really? Oh well, it's all part of it, right? This is part of the conversion. Yeah. So Bathroom. I know. So the walls are coming up, Jeff. Good job. The walls are coming up. Sweet. Your bed is framed. It's getting easier and easier to see it. It really is beautiful. Wow, and this looks so good. I got Mr. Brown's bed bunk. <gasps> Done. Look at it. Oh my gosh, look at him. This looks so good. Can you envision yourself being in the bus? I think so. And being this is how it is? Yeah, I mean, it's a little, it's a little different. You yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, obviously our house is like large. Mm -hmm. And so now, like, going from different. like a big house to like this little living space. How's it feel? 
You got lots of room. I love it. I just absolutely love the layout. I'm super pleased. Oh man, it is so deep. It's deep. It's awesome. It's gonna be a nice bath. This I is know. nicer than our bath for deepness. I know, I know. like. Wow. Hey, it fit. So we're about to move this bus. It hasn't been moved in three four, months. Four months. Four months. Four months. I am so nervous about getting this bus out. I mean, what are you a afraid professional of? driver drove it into there, so. You gotta see it, they've cleaned it up. It looks so good. Oh my gosh, holy cow. The fridge is done. Oh okay. my gosh. We got our toilet. Like when I was running up the um, driveway here, I felt like the first night it came, we were running up. Yeah. For sure. Well, he even said, okay. he's like, what day did we put it up there? It was like September 19th. He's like, so we've been doing this for like three months? It's three like, and a half. It's kind of weird. Like, it's like, fat. It doesn't it feel does. longer. It does. Yeah. Here it comes. First time moving in three and a half months. I'm just, I'm No, beyond, we didn't get stuck. I'm beyond thrilled. We didn't run over any walls. I'm a little nervous about downhills because we learned about that in school today. You can today. always be nervous about something, I know, I'm you? always nervous about something. So I'm just enjoying the moment yes. that our bus is driving down the road and it's looking so good and yeah. And this is how she turned out. Welcome to our bus home. This is our sofa. This is our dinette area. And then this is our kitchen. Here is our workstation. Here is our bunk area. So comfortable. Woo! <laughs> Woo! It started. Always happy when it starts. <laughs> Got her started, letting her warm up. It's very cold. It's under 20 degrees. Uh, <coughs> good memories. Back there in that engine, well, not necessarily good engine, good memories. Bus cut out, we come back. I said, oh no, it's the belts. Nope, it's not the belts. Belts are doing just fine. We heard hissing. We've heard that hissing before. Right back down in there, you can't see it. Brake line, but this time it was up where it connects up here, you might be able to see that back in there. See that back in there? Well, but I guess they were because I was able to figure out a Caterpillar 3208 enough to at least change belts, change filters, um, prime, prime it if it wouldn't start. Now, let's leverage this back up to make it tight. Pretty tight. The new one's real tight. That one's a little loose. I'm afraid it's just gonna wobble right off. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's going good right now. Yeah. Up. The old one slow right off. Okay. Is that the old one? That was, that was the old one. Is it hitting this one? Let's. Okay, that's pretty tight. It's not. It's not. It just looks like that. It's not. Maybe with you I can make it a little tighter. 
and since we're gonna probably have to, we're, we're gonna have to go on one we'll get to our destination on one and then go get the new Did Mark think new one tomorrow okay? we made it just fine I was pretty happy about ourselves because I've never changed a belt before in any kind of car I'm pretty proud of myself for that giving no mechanical skills whatsoever now we want to try the generator make sure it's working good so if you're on the generator you got to unplug from shore power <laughs> the air brakes went off right at the time that's the sound of big adventures let's go we've been making good time correction though didn't have quite 300 miles to go close though 270 made it 100 miles gonna show maple some love car wash truck wash you think she needs it back yes let's just show you how nasty maple has gotten do you see oh yeah we've lost our we lost our our thing there oh. that's what that's what's flapping we got a flap loose guys it, oh. remember it was we had it strong it was uh it broke off there our bungee cord has worn off but that held strong that was from dennis way back that in florida oh my gosh look Say wash me. Can y'all see that? It's, oh, no, yeah. it's so bad you can't even wipe down to the look at how much look at how much you have to, to look at my face. Uh. No. You're definitely not too wide. It's a storm out there guys! A soapy messy storm are they spraying us down oh yeah they're There's doing the a good line. job oh wow it looks so much better i can see i can see oh the the car looks good too huh? i know i'm like <laughs> well the little came in i see back so yeah did we water our basil plant a little bit it was oh my what happened it was pouring over <laughs> the door oh my gosh look look in the floor yeah it not was... completely watertight from the sideways uh water look though our basil plant doing great almost to see there's these little tiny seeds in there that are still soft they haven't hardened up yet oh my it's a brand new bus okay it looks much, great so much better. i hope water isn't all in but wow wow they do a really good job a tire wash yeah our tires washed yeah, oh boy. But it may have already been there. Yeah. Because of a rock. There are like no this. flies on here anymore. All right, let's go, guys. Yeah, We're ready to go. 161 more miles. Here we go. Hopefully, we'll be there by five-ish. From this seat, out this view, I pretty much saw all America. We got up the mountain all right. We did have one almost overheated, so we pulled over, let it cool off, didn't let it overheat. But this is the craziest road we've ever done. This is six miles at 8% grade. Holy mackerel. Hey buddy, how you doing? He you got a really change? good nap. You did, you got a really good nap? He did, he needs a diaper change. He okay. said, I'm peeing in my seat. Oh boy. He's not wet, I mean he's wet as diapers, but he's not wet. This okay. view though. Yeah. Don't get too close to the edge. Oh gosh, Jonah, it's a cliff. Will you hold me so I can Be get Be careful. Close? You hold me and I'll get close. Don't get too close. Yeah, but I'm holding you. 
Right here. Right here is close enough. What? Look at the water coming down through there. The, look at the dirt road down there. Imagine how steep Man, that is. I wouldn't is. want to go down that dirt road. No. Okay. We are crossing our fingers. We probably got four miles of crazy downhill. 8% is too steep for us. One, the gear number one doesn't even hold us back and I still have to use the brakes. We had the mechanic look at the brakes while he was at it. He said they need to be serviced soon. So we're gonna get down off this mountain, get down into, when we get into San Diego, get them serviced. Okay, we're gonna get back on the road. We made it. A uh, drive that we thought would take us uh, four hours ended up taking five hours. Guys, it was 155 miles. That gives you an idea of how slow we have to go. That was the sketchiest downhill we've ever been on, wouldn't you say, Beck? Yep. 8% grade down for six plus miles. Absolutely crazy. So glad we're at the bottom. I think the big mountains are behind us now. It rolled before me at like 61 miles an hour. It has a governor on it. Goodbye, Athens. Hello, hot Atlanta. Looks like it's gonna be about a two hour trip by four wheeler as the truckers would call them. So maybe two and a half with this, it's 10.30. Let's hope for the best. Well, we just had our first sketchy railroad crossing. Railroad tracks. This steep downhill, we, we, I think we're too shallow in the underbelly, so we weren't going to risk it. We finally found a place to cross. Cruising down the road, feeling pretty good. I'm, in, I'm really enjoying this 155 or 165 air conditioning. One window at 65 miles an hour. Oh, it's about to get crazy up in here. Oh boy. How many lanes is that? We're still in the, <laughs> coming in. We're an hour away from the, our dad, Atlanta. And look, already. One, two, three, four, five. Dude, we're being six lanes. Oh, I spoke too soon. There's two more over there. Eight lanes. Check out this little town. Beautiful. We ate so many meals right here. The kids had tables on the floor. Mom and I sat here. Yep, we're at a truck stop. Eight o'clock at night. Just finishing up dinner. I sat here. Kids sit here sometimes. They got these couches so dirty. It's a miracle they got clean. Trash. Goodwill. Dusty. Do you see the dust on that? Cooked many a meal. Right there. One thing that was so handy about this thing is we could pull over at a truck stop, get fuel, cook a warm meal in our vehicle. Look at what we're making in the in the in the bus. Grilled cheese. The truck stop. We're at the truck stop, y'all. Y'all. And we got tomato soup going. You know, one of my biggest memories is the trip wasn't easy. There's two memories actually. I don't know if Rebecca was already asleep or where she was, what I was doing here, but I, I just laid down in exhaustion just like this. I said, how am I gonna keep going? Been a whirlwind couple of days. I'm explaining in a second. So when we go to meetups or we meet people, you know what the number one question we get asked? Are you tired? 
We're exhausted. I believe we did like three states in two days. I thought there was really only one moment of pure exhaustion. People asked us how we did it, how aren't we exhausted? Well, farms across America, we found out, don't really start till maybe seven or eight. And usually, towards the end, in the beginning, we were ridiculous and would stay up till two, two thirty. But then we got into a rhythm where it was twelve. That's still not enough sleep for us, but it was functionable sleep. I can remember laying here in this crazy electrical storm in South Dakota, Laura Ingalls Wilder. I wish we would have filmed it, but it was too nerve-wracking. It was like somebody was flashing the lights. I laid right here on Thanksgiving and was thankful for all the places we had been. The other night, I just needed a moment and I said, Rebecca, can you take the kids in for a moment? I just need to think. I didn't know what about. I just needed to think, have some silence. I came back to our bed and just laid down. And actually what I began to think about is how thankful I am for this trip. Sure, it's been exhausting, we're tired, we're at the end, but I'm so thankful for all the people I've met, all the experiences we've had. It's just been an absolutely crazy adventure. What is your role? Uh, Director of Corporate Development. Hello, Colorado. Mountains everywhere, is this not beautiful? How, just how big is the world, Lily? Hey, like major black wall and tree. Bye bye, chicken. Hi, night, chicken. Richard, there's tens of thousands of bees around us right now. We just should have camped here. The Pied Piper, these chickens are following you. I think it's you, you're, you're permaculture <laughs> chicken. Did it bring back any special it's memory? Wild. I don't know, it was fun because um, it was the last, it was the last family reunion that we had. What do you think, Mr. Brown, is that something else? We're the med cows. This is our steampunk rocket mass heater of science. Hey, it's not every day. I get to film a fellow YouTuber. Uh, the reason I planted so many strawberries and I like I grow strawberries is because I like them. And I can also remember laying here, looking out to pitch black at Joshua State National Park where we boondocked. It was so nice just to be out, away from electricity, away from power lines, away from cell phones and receptions for a night and see those beautiful stars. Heater starting to heat up. I got my space heater plugged in and I'm about to come and milk. The peep Rebecca's going to pick these guys up at the airport. Got a little emotional down here and I'm trying to pinpoint what it is. Sure, she's just a machine, but she feels like part of the family. It doesn't even almost feel like a harvest, you know, saying goodbye to animals. Well, you get, you see them again. You get energized by them. But, we're harvesting maple, so to speak. And she's driving away. I was gonna say we don't have anything to show for it, but we do. We have lots of YouTube videos and a movie. You know, I guess there'll always be a place for her in our heart, because she, she represents what happened, that big adventure. She she's represents a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'll never get to do that again. I'll never wish that again. It was a great and wonderful adventure and totally worth it. But a person can only do that once in their life and still live to tell about it.
Good, how are you? Board the ferry. We have arrived to the ferry. Lane four. We're in lane four, waiting our turn. Uh, it's, is it dangerous? How down I to go right into number three? Oh, uh, number three. Yeah. Number three, we're on the boat, guys. I car. Don't let a car get on that side. What's the car doing? Car's doing great. Oh my word, y'all. So it's kind of bouncy. Why is it doing that? It's is it sticky? Oh, uh, Papa, can you fold in your mirror, or would that be too difficult? Are we rocking the boat? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but I'm happy they put us in the middle. Yeah. Maybe they maybe they'll try to put us in the middle. In one and three quarter yeah. miles. Leave the ferry. There's another boat. Hey, do you guys want to go to the observatory? Yeah. Okay. There goes Rebecca. You know, Rebecca has a totally different feeling about that bus. You know, I don't think the trip made her sick, so to speak. It didn't help the stress. I think what it did, though, is brought the sickness to our attention. It showed us that there's more wrong than just her Hashimoto's thyroid problems. For that, I'm forever grateful because she now feels better than I've ever seen her feel in her entire life. Just taking a little break, nothing's wrong with maple. We're just gonna be real careful going through Death Valley. It is hot, feels like a furnace here. You guys feel the furnace? Come here, Josiah. You feel the heat, Mom? Yeah, it feels good though, actually. It doesn't feel that bad. I mean, it's hot, but it's not like. It's a dry heat. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Home. Home. We, we caught a rattlesnake. Yeah. Home. Right. Home. Let me see your shirt, Mr. Brown. You see? Home. Hey, y'all missing North Carolina today? Yeah. yeah. They all got matching shirts today. <laughs> hey, did you match them? Did you coordinate this? No, he wore that one. We're kind of low on laundry. I haven't done laundry in a couple days, so. So he put his on, and then I guess Lily put hers on, and we convinced Jonah. Josiah then wanted to match, and then I had to convince Jonah. He, he did it. He was, he was a good sport. Basically, the goal is to get through Death Valley so we can do laundry, to be honest. Let's see it. Whoa! Don't tear up the snake.
32 degrees right now at Furnace Creek. We are at what? We are at 190 feet below sea level. Sea level. We went all the way down to 380. 280. 280, sorry, 280. And we're starting to climb back up now. All right, go say goodbye. You can come in. You can come in. Um, that's what I'm thinking. You don't have to stay up here. Um, I'm suggesting maybe. Is this weird, guys? No. Just how you okay? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. That's, you sound okay. How are you, Lily? Are you okay? Yeah. Does anybody have any memories they want to share in this bus? No. Who was you guys? Mm -mm. I remember. These are amazing. What do you remember? Sleeping in here. Yeah, you remember sleeping in there. I remember I was in this bed. That was your bed. You're probably too big for it now. Um, no, I'm not. Okay, good. <laughs> How's that gonna look? Woo! Maples in the Christmas spirit. We go. There it is. And it's, it's in tiny. all its glory. Tinier than I thought. It's tinier than you thought? Um, there's no stand. Let's get the stand out. Let me have the Leatherman, please. Give her the Leatherman. Do you have, oh, wait, I have it. is there even a stand? Wait. There should be a stand, right? Uh, that's... There it is, is that it? There it is. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're that bad. A perfect little tree. Now it's... Let's decorate the tree. We've got all the ornaments. And the beads, you guys just go ahead. Mom's got the garland up, or going up. Looking good. Kids got the tree decorated. Gonna light that up Miss soon. Papa. Hey, we gotta find our Velcro to keep that tree in place. Okay. Oh yeah, look. We got our That's US map. Are. It's This is a cool cork board where we get to put the star. That's where we are right now, Oklahoma. And then we're gonna go down to the other states and we're just putting on as we go to them. Oh nice. Gideon lit that up. Hold oh, yeah, on guys, we'll, we'll turn off the lights in a little bit and see what it looks like in here. And we cleaned up the bus. It feels so good. Decorated so nice. Josiah, <laughs> try the lights. Oh! You guys ready to turn off these lights? Yeah! yeah. Okay, turn them off. Wow! Last picture. <laughs> She's about to pull out. Come on, wait, Gideon. Well, Lily's gonna miss it. Let's go. Hopefully not. Oh, Come on, Lily. Here she goes, guys.
either. She goes without us. It's weird. <laughs> but I'm totally okay with it. How do you guys feel? It's okay. You guys okay? You can talk to us if you ever have a feeling. Okay? Come here. It's hard on you. Come here. You've been trying to hold it back. It's okay. You okay? No, you're not okay. <laughs> it was, hey, hey, there's new stuff for us now. I know it's hard. It's hard on him because he probably has the most memories. It's hard. It's hard. You have, you have no sentiment, huh? Um, I guess I just know that there's other things that we're gonna that we want to do. Like, yeah. and the bus didn't fit into that. So, mm. she served her purpose. Like, she was great. I loved her, but I've moved on. I've closed that chapter. Man. <laughs>